been a good week. We had uh, a couple extra days with the Thursday and then to the next uh, Sunday. So uh, been able to capitalize on some of those days, get guys healthy, get everybody back and uh, get everybody's legs feeling good. So we're excited coming, uh, coming into the match. Hi, how are you doing? Crystal Rich, nice to meet you. Hi, Crystal. Hi, what's the biggest lesson that you learned in the regular season about pausing in there? Yeah, I think a lot has changed. Uh, obviously, the playoffs is an entirely different intensity. You know, Matt, seeing them here and away uh, in the in the regular season versus seeing them in playoffs. Uh, we had some injuries when we played them the first time here home. Like Kellen Acosta was was filling in at right back, and people kind of out of position filling in spaces and uh, positions. And then we had you know obviously a difficult time there away on the road. And we feel like we've grown a ton, added some pieces even from that moment, and uh, and been able to really come into a good uh, a good stride as a team with a lot of momentum. So uh, I think we're we're in a really dangerous spot in terms of how well we're playing. And and then I think you throw the intensity on top of uh, of everything with just it being playoffs and being back at home at the bank. Uh, we feel like we have everything we need to, to win. Is there a constant or a theme to what made them successful against you besides the, the everything you just mentioned, like the way, that, the way they play or they bring into the match? It's a really good question. I don't know. Uh, we've seen obviously a ton of video now, and, and as I'm watching the video, I'm, I'm not really sure what they've had that's that's picked us apart. I'm not sure if they saw us in the you know the right moment and, and were able to capitalize on it. I'm not sure if it was just you know a bad day. You can chalk it up to you know heavy legs in Austin or whatnot. It's hard to put your finger on it, but um, I think what they do do well is they're they're a team. They do what they do together. They've got Drewsy. They've got a guy that can kind of game change. But besides that, the rest of the team they just they just play together. They. they have, an identity, a way they want to play, and they all have just bought into it and believe in it, and that's what they do. So uh, I see them, I see kind of their strength being their unit, and uh, and so what we'll try to do is, is implement our game plan and and, and t try to break down that unit. Obviously, the draw is the draw. You can't control anything that, but is it, is it fitting that the only team you guys didn't beat in the Western Conference you have to beat to get to the MLS Cup? Yeah, I think it's great for us. I think we've kind of set it from the start, uh, being able to go through some of these teams, being able to take down the Galaxy and then take down Austin on the way to an MLS Cup just makes it that much sweeter. So uh, we, we feel confident to beat anybody, but it's fun to, to be able to play these teams, get a little redemption, and then in, and move our way to the Cup. Any questions on Zoom? Any questions on Zoom? Thank you. Hi, Ryan. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I wanted to ask about what do you expect from Austin on Sunday? Do you expect a team that's going to try and play 100 miles per hour? Are you expecting a team that's going to see deep, try to control the wall, manage the tempo of the game like Galaxy tried to do against you? And, and, and what do you expect overall? Thank you. Yeah, I think from what I what I've seen from Austin is they're really committed to the way they want to play. They've got a style and and tactics that they play home away. They want to you know they want to play out of the back. They want to possess the ball. They want to move the ball forward. Uh, so I think they're going to stick with that style. Uh, obviously, coming to the bank and then you throw playoff intensity on top of that, and things can change, of course. But I think they're going to come in. They're going to try to play, and and our goal is for sure to to have the ball, to, to have our own possession and to kind of enforce our, our plan on the game and, and make them adapt to us rather than us adapting to them. So my my feeling is they're gonna come in ready to play. They're gonna come a hundred miles per hour because it's you know it's playoff time. There's there's two games left and one of us is gonna be in the final and so they're gonna come with everything they have. Uh, teams also love coming and playing at the bank because of the 3252, because of our fans, because of the adrenaline that comes with playing at the bank. And so uh, they're going to have everything they they can bring, and and we're going to have to match that intensity, and then and then hopefully our skill will take over. Thank you so much, Hi, Ryan, for, uh, for your time as always. I just want to. You know, you talk about the, the schedule, like it's going to be a 12. On one hand, you have the weather, but on the other is the time that you usually train. 
Just yeah, just cleaned up the mustache today, so uh, we're keeping it. We're keeping it through the uh, the playoffs, and uh, uh, yeah, the game time is weird. The noon game time, it's not uh, it's not ideal. Well, obviously, we love night games at the bank because of just the environment that that brings. Um, but I know with TV schedules and and everything, they have to work around that. Uh, our games get moved around, but um, there's no excuses. We're going to be ready to show up whenever we need to. And so if the game's at noon, we'll be ready. And it doesn't matter the weather. It doesn't matter, you know, the the sun, whatever you want to put excuses on. Uh, we're, we're not going to be putting excuses. We're going to be ready to ready to go win a game.